Hey guys, welcome back to Healthy Kitchen. How are you? Some beautiful shots here of the dish I just prepared. Uh, hopefully you guys will give this recipe a try. And as always, like, share, and subscribe. Nice quick shot here with all the ingredients that I used. We're just going to start off here with a simple trick. Basically, very fast tomato slicing trick. Saves a lot of time if you're <laughs> short of that. Okay, so basically just slice the tomatoes with a plate on top. Make sure your knife is really sharp, okay? That's the key. Sharp knife, less work. What we have here are some pickled peppers, sweet pickled peppers, baby bells. Just give those a quick julienne or a slice. Take a cucumber, a half a cucumber, quarter it, and just give it a quick dice, okay? This is what we're going to use for our salad here. Just some components for it. Okay, make sure everything is uniform just like that. And then what we have here are some baby onions. They are not shallots. They're just baby red onions. Just slice them down the middle. Get rid of the ends. And then you're just going to give them a quick slice as you did with your peppers, okay? I like to slice my onions really thin. Um, I don't like onions, but my wife does, so, yeah. Just a quick shot here of the beef that we'll be using. <laughs> what I put on there was jerk spice, not your average thing to use, or Caribbean spice. I'll add the recipe to the description box below, and I just made sure I marinated everything front and back with a little bit of rosemary and thyme. I... I found a new product here I really enjoy. It's a cooking oil, Camelina cooking oil, loaded with omega fatty acids that we need. And some tomatoes I added in there. I just seared off everything. And you know I love the herbs, so parsley is a must. And I added in some of those sliced onions as well. Okay, I caramelized everything, brought it all down. Some of the pan juices inside inside the steak itself. I actually gave it a little squirt of um, lemon juice towards the end, right there, just to bring out a pop to that dish. Like It needed some acidity, a, a bit more than just those tomatoes. Forming our salad here, once again, tomatoes, cucumbers, a little bit of lemon juice, salt, pepper, dandelion greens. If you haven't had them, please start to incorporate them into your dish. It's delicious. What I put on there was some Greek yogurt, the sweet pickled peppers, and some fresh sprouts. Just toss it all together, and I made myself a very nice, nutritious salad. Guys, you can't go wrong here. Once again, Healthy Kitchen, it's always a pleasure to have you with me. I just gave it a quick taste test here, made sure everything was good, tasty. One thing I want to tell you guys is I've been taking a nutrition course, and... Um, it's been going well. I've been learning a lot of new things, uh, incorporating the right oils in my diet, the right amount of oils to incorporate. And I'm going to be changing up some of my recipes. I'm going to adapt a lot of them to the way that I think that I would enjoy eating them. But I'll be incorporating a lot more healthy oils and showing you how to use healthy fat oils. Okay, healthy cooking oils, I should say. As for my juicing... It was a success. I dropped a few pounds. I feel fresh. Um, thank you for the support, the comments. Please continue pouring in. And cheers, guys. Have a good one, all right?